couple moments. In fact, they really, really set the record, but not too much of it because um, I know that um, Harry, you know, has really taken after his mother, Lady Diana. We all know how Lady Diana used to be when she was alive, you know. She loved to visit countries, you know. Yes, and she was doing a lot of charitable works. Exactly is what Megan and then um, Harry are doing, you know. He's indeed following um, um, the footsteps of the mother. So, casting my mind back and looking at how Harry has grown up to the level that she uh, he is, indeed, he's a replica of the mother you know from moving away from the family and everything he's just replicating the mother and it surprises me because he's a man you know yes in fact some bold decisions that he's taking just like the mother is it's really given you know so now let's look at um what really went on when they went to nigeria you know in fact they've met a lot of celebrities you know and also they've made conferences where megan you know actually told a lot of um, women and empowered them you know to always stand their grounds as women as as mothers as wives you know that no matter what life throws at you you have to make something out of it and we we could all attest what she's been through especially in the medias of their country you know yes in fact the me the british media hasn't dealt easy with megan at all maybe if it were you just you and i we would have left we would have left that uh matrimony long ago because you know real hatred was shown to her we all know right the reason why people especially the british were acting like that to her because she's half black and also a divorcee because people didn't really think that oh why is a divorcee you know uh being privileged to marry a whole prince like how dare you and we all know what it means like to be um a british royal it's not easy because um as a british royal um you are not permitted to one marry someone out of the race your race you know and also um a divorcee as well we've seen um history in there with the um royals where um their predecessors weren't allowed for um them to marry the choice of partners that they want in which um um he, um, Harry's grandfather is a testimony, right? His current wife, we all know, you know, it's a long history down the lane. That's not what we're talking about today. But I'm very happy that Megan and the Harry are making the most of their lives, you know. Yes, it, it's good, you know. Because when they moved away from the royals, I thought life was going to be very difficult and hard for them, you know. But they are making good use of their time, which is really applaudable. And indeed, um, you know, Nigerian governance and a lot of people, you know, have put measures in place for these two to enjoy their stay in Nigeria, which I think is a very laudable moment as well, you know. The Nigerian government has really done a lot of great duties in then um receiving these two these couple as their guests you know so guys if you had also heard that oh they went to nigeria indeed they've landed they've taught they are not yet back to um wherever they came from they are still there you know they are still moving around having conferences and stuff you know if there's a new development surely i will bring it up onto you but then um leave your interesting comments in the comment section down below the name is haja one keep on liking sharing don't forget to click on that notification button for you know we bring you nothing but the best right the name is hajia one stay tuned <laughs>